Good morning, Monomoy. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, and it is a day two in the schedule. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On Saturday, girls soccer lost a tough one in the second round of the playoffs to Littleton 3-0. Great season, girls. Field hockey won against Southwick in a shutout 7-1, with six of the seven goals coming from Caroline DiGiovanni and Emily Layton with the other. For cross country, Gareth Voss came in first for the 10th grade boys cross country meet. Today, there are no games. However, on Wednesday, field hockey plays home against South Hadley at 5, and the unified basketball team plays away against Martha's Vineyard at 245. That's all for sports. Now to Jackson with the news. Thanks, Alec. A lawsuit has been filed following the Astroworld Festival tragedy that left a total of eight people dead and dozens injured in Houston on Friday night. A concert goer who was injured during the festival is suing rapper and producer Travis Scott, as well as the entertainment company Live Nation. Manuel Souza, who is being represented by the law firm, suffered serious bodily injuries when the uncontrolled crowd at the concert knocked him to the ground and trampled him. According to a lawsuit filed in Harris County, Texas, after Friday night, the concert was later canceled for Saturday and Sunday, leaving the festival to just a one-day event. That's all for the news. Now to Luke with the weather. Thanks, Jackson. It's about 55 degrees right now and perfectly sunny skies. We'll have a 6% chance of precipitation and 11 mile an hour winds. The low today is 46 degrees and the high is 61. Now for the five-day forecast. Tomorrow is going to be sunny with a high of 58 and a low of 46. Thursday is partly cloudy with a high of 54 and a low of 47, and sadly our sunny streak will be ending on Friday and Saturday with chances of rain and winds. That's all for weather. Have a good morning, Monomoy. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Now to Corny and Evelyn with the announcement. Seniors, your first deposit for your class trip of $250 is due on or before November 15th. Please take, make checks out to MRSD and bring them to Mrs. Corrigan in room A221 or bring them to the front office to drop in her mailbox. Your second payment of $200 is due on or before January 14th. If you have any questions, please email Mrs. Corrigan. Attention everyone, the MRHS Key Club is hosting a winter clothing drive. We are accepting gloves, coats, warm socks, hats, mittens, and any other lightly used warm winter clothing they are willing to donate. There will be collection boxes placed around the school where you can place your donations. The drive will be held from Monday, November 8th to Friday, November 12th. Are you interested in playing a winter sport this upcoming season? Family ID registration is now open for all winter sports. In order to be eligible, you'll need the following turned in by the first day of practices. You need to be registered on family ID for your sport. You need an updated physical on file with the health office. You need an updated impact test. If you need one, testing will be held during JOSM and after school made by appointment. Please reach out to our athletic trainer, Taylor Murray, to set this up. You also need to complete the NFHS concussion in sport course, as well as the NFHS implicit bias course. If you completed these already for a fall sport, you will not need to do this again. Both of these courses can be found on the nfhslearn.com website, and the information about these courses are listed in the Google Classroom pages for each winter sport. If you have any questions regarding any of this information, please reach out to our athletic trainer, Taylor Murray. Do you want to join the fight against climate change? The MRHS Climate Action Club meets every day five, Jossum B in room A229. We will be organizing ways to combat climate change on the local level, including beach cleanups, composting, and connecting with local activists to support projects to reduce, reuse, and recycle. There will be a meeting on Tuesday, November 9th during Jossum A in room A236 for anyone interested in partip participating in this year's mock trial team. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Bates. That's all for announcements. Have a great day, Monomoy.